the real breakthrough that Lucid Air represents is that it's really the first time that anyone's taken the full potential of electrification and applied that holistically to a complete vehicle design. And to that aim, we had to use world-class simulation tools in order to create this world-class product. Lucid Air is gonna take electrification to a whole new level. People are not expecting this. Look at the way a car is designed with a traditional methodology, even with a, a high-tech methodology, which is still traditionally its nature. We look at a six to seven year program. Here at Lucid, we've compressed that program to three years. And we've done that largely through a simulation. Great people, great engineers, but using great equipment and great tools. I'm a proponent of making that physical prototype late. It's a very counterintuitive approach, but it's proven to accelerate the timescale of product development and, moreover, to create truly excellent world-class products. And the reason we can do that is because we have great confidence in the fidelity, the virtuosity of our computer models. That way we can run virtual prototypes at many, many times over. And we can learn so much more from a computer prototype than a physical prototype. We love using ANSYS, a great partner, great tools for the engineer, and the application of those tools just together to make great product as a team effort. We're able to make Lucid Air work with a very small team, a very dynamic and dedicated team. A large proportion of that team is engaged in simulation. To really reap the full reward of a deep computer analysis, we need to see those system models integrated. And we do that in a multi-physics environment using ANSYS. And that has been the key to the significant breakthroughs that we've made here at Lucid on the Lucid Air to make this the most advanced car in the world.